For decades, American heavy lift manufacturers didn't just compete, they defined the limits of what could be built, moved, and erected. The colossal machines forged in their factories were the backbone of the nuclear power boom, the petrochemical industry, and the infrastructure that stitched this country together. We're ranking the three biggest land-based cranes manufactured in the United States by maximum lifting capacity. But to understand their place today, we need to look beyond capacity and examine the new engineering arms race unfolding across the globe. How do these American titans stack up against today's 5,000 metric ton behemoths emerging from China and Europe? The foundation for this countdown and our third largest American crane is the Manitowoc 31000. Manitowoc is a name synonymous with American heavy iron. Founded in Wisconsin in 1902, the company initially built commercial fishing vessels and was pivotal in the shipbuilding efforts of the World Wars. In the 1950s, they pioneered key electrification advancements in cranes, and today, they remain the only U.S. builder of capable excavators and cranes from that early era to survive under American ownership. Their commitment to engineering innovation is clear to their patented Variable Position Counterweight, or VPC, system. The Manitowoc 31000 is a behemoth crawler crane, purpose-built for ultra-heavy, yet conventional lifting. It boasts a maximum capacity of 2,535 U.S. tons, or 2,300 metric tons. To handle that incredible load, it's powered by twin 600-horsepower Cummins diesel engines. But the true technical marvel is its VPC system. This self-supporting counterweight can retract or extend from an 8.4-meter to a 29-meter radius. The VPC system is more than just a moving mass. It's an intelligent counterweight that responds dynamically to the load chart. By automatically reducing the counterweight's operational radius when the load is light, the system conserves energy and minimizes the ground-bearing pressure. This feature is vital, as heavy lift planning often hinges on limiting the stress placed on sensitive foundations or existing infrastructure. Furthermore, the 31000 can be operated in its VPC Max configuration, utilizing a fixed position of its counterweight at the maximum outreach when site conditions allow thereby maximizing its available load moment for the heaviest possible picks. This flexibility and setup is a key factor in keeping the Manitowoc competitive in an increasingly specialized market. Why does this matter? It's a game changer for job sites with confined spaces, as it automatically minimizes the crane's footprint and the necessary ground preparation, a perennial challenge on petrochemical and power plant projects. In 2013, the 31000 demonstrated its power and reach on a South Korean LNG plant, lifting a 716-ton cold box at a radius exceeding 180 feet in a pick-and-carry operation. This machine proves that a conventional lattice boom crawler, when pushed to the engineering limit, still has a vital role, especially in U.S. wind projects where it's tackled heavy turbine components. But what happens when the pieces get even heavier, or the site demands more sheer power than a crawler can provide? Stepping up the ladder, our second largest American crane by capacity is the Versacrane TC36000S2, with a lifting capacity of 3,000 US tons. This machine is the brainchild of Deep South Crane and Rigging, based in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Deep South is primarily a heavy lift and transport company, and the Versacrane line was developed in-house to address specific, high-stakes lifting needs that conventional cranes couldn't handle. This is pure, American problem-solving engineering. When a tool you need doesn't exist, you build it yourself. The Versacrane models, ranging up to the 36,000, are pedestal cranes meaning they are built on a solid foundation and are designed to lift monumental loads in a stationary position. They combine immense strength with a relatively small footprint, making them ideal for work inside existing refineries and power plants where space is at a premium. The TC36000S2 is rated at 3,000 US tons, or approximately 2,721 metric tons. 
Its design incorporates a massive nearly 50-story high boom and a rear mast. Its base, typically anchored to a deep, prepared foundation, is capable of withstanding the immense moment forces generated by loads that can exceed the entire weight of the boom itself. The maximum height of the boom and jib can reach over 150 meters, allowing it to clear the tallest existing structures in a complex industrial setting. Crucially, the pedestal crane design drastically simplifies the crane's rotation and operation, focusing all its engineering on maximizing static capacity and precision control. This level of capacity is particularly useful in replacing critical refinery components like reactors and large storage vessels, where old infrastructure must be removed and new pieces installed in a matter of hours, not days. The cost of a failed lift or even a minor delay on such a project can easily climb into the seven figures. One of its most high-profile debuts was at a Midwest refinery in 2020. During a tight overnight turnaround, this powerhouse lifted a massive 450-ton coke drum into place, followed by a 256-ton derrick drop, all at an elevation of 163 feet. This kind of lift, under a tight turnaround during a plant shutdown, is where the stakes and the financial consequences of failure are truly immense. The VersaCrane's raw, static power at 3,000 tons is undeniable. But while a pedestal crane dominates a fixed spot, it cannot move the load once lifted. This brings us to the true champion of American-made heavy lift. Holding the title for the largest American-manufactured land-based crane is the Lampson LTL 3000 Transilift. Its capacity of 3000 US tons is the same as the VersaCrane. But the Lampson earns its number one spot with one critical, game-changing capability – full pick-and-carry mobility at charted loads. Where the Versa Crane is a stationary pedestal, the Transilift is a colossal mobile crane. Lampson International is a third-generation family-owned heavy lift and heavy haul corporation that started in Kennewick, Washington in 1946. Their greatest innovation, the Transilift system, was developed in 1978 for a U.S. nuclear site in response to a need for a crane that combined the monumental lift capacity of a stiff-legged derrick or ring-mounted equipment with the mobility of a conventional crawler. The LTL 3000 is technically a mobile heavy lift crane. It achieves its incredible capacity and mobility through a patented configuration that features two individually powered crawler transporters a 3,000-ton capacity front crawler, and a rear support component. This unique modular design ensures ground-bearing pressures remain manageable even when handling extreme loads over distance, a massive advantage over conventional heavy crawlers. It can be configured with up to 122 meters of main boom or even longer when utilizing a lattice jib extension. Furthermore, the Transilift system is engineered for simple disassembly allowing the crane to be quickly moved to the next project without the typical logistical bottlenecks of its international competitors. Its transportability and use of readily available counterweight materials offer significant cost savings, making it highly competitive for projects requiring repeated heavy lifts across a large site footprint. The genius of the Transilift is its versatility. It can break down and transport easily by conventional trucks, and its massive counterweight is made up of readily available site aggregate, saving substantial logistics costs. Its signature feat is the pick and carry. On the I-90 Vantage Bridge project in Washington, a Transilift moved a 1,200-ton bridge section over a significant distance. This ability to travel with a massive load is invaluable on sprawling infrastructure projects. Offering a level of sight flexibility no other domestic crane of its size can match. But while the Transilift system is the undisputed domestic champion of mobility and power, how does a crane of 3,000 US tons stack up against the new generation of global giants? The three great American cranes, Manitowoc, VersaCrane, and Lampson, are monuments to decades of ingenuity. They have been the workhorses of the Western industrial complex. But in the past decade, the top echelon of heavy lift 
has changed dramatically. Driven by the sheer scale of global megaprojects in energy, infrastructure, and nuclear power, this has created an engineering arms race that is seeing lifting capacities surge well beyond 3,000 metric tons. The key drivers are the growing size of wind turbine components, the need for larger pre-assembled refinery modules, and the complex lifts required in new generation nuclear construction. And in this race, China has become a powerhouse, investing massively in its domestic crane manufacturing. But it's not just about capital investment, it's about fundamentally rethinking what a crane can do and how big it needs to be to tackle tomorrow's mega projects. The numbers tell a stark story, and the gap is widening. Let's look at where the American-built giants now rank globally by comparing them to four of the world's current biggest land-based cranes by capacity. First from China, the Sony SCC-45000A is the world's largest crawler crane. Introduced in 2021, this machine boasts a staggering capacity of 4,500 metric tons. It achieves this through a twin boom configuration, which massively enhances the load moment and stability. Also from China is the XCMG XCA4000, a massive all-terrain crane capable of lifting 4,000 metric tons, launched in 2024. This is a testament to Chinese manufacturing rapidly closing the gap in the highly technical mobile crane market. Moving to Europe, the capacity figures jump even higher. The Sarens SGC250, or Big Carl, is a ring crane from Belgium. Its circular base allows for full 360-degree rotation, and it has a phenomenal lifting capacity of 5,000 metric tons. Primarily used in nuclear and shipyard projects, Big Carl's sheer scale represents the peak of static, ultra-heavy lift engineering. Finally, the Mammut SK6000 is another modular ring crane, rated for lifts of up to 6,000 metric tons. Its focus is on enabling single-piece construction, essentially eliminating component size as a limiting factor in project design. The comparison is sobering. The Lampson, Versacrane, and Manitowoc, all giants in their own right, cap out at roughly 2,700 metric tons for their rated capacity. They are still indispensable workhorses for most high-capacity projects in North America, but they no longer hold the mantle of the world's largest. The current global leaders, with capacities ranging from 4,000 to 6,000 metric tons, are purpose-built for a new scale of construction a scale that the American cranes, for now, do not meet. However, the reality is clear. The global leaders have pulled ahead in pure lifting capacity. American manufacturers now face a strategic choice. Invest in developing 5,000-plus ton systems to compete directly, or focus on niche advantages and operational efficiencies. As the global race continues to push capacity, the next American Titan may not be about the heaviest lift, but the smartest, most adaptable solution. The question for the next decade isn't just how much weight a crane can handle, but whether American engineering can redefine what makes a crane truly competitive. Thanks for watching Hard Hat Industries, your source for serious machines doing real work. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Until then, keep your head down and your gear running.